Hi guys, this is Amanda Christian here and I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, me and my family were, um, had seen the advertisements for um, the Christmas Story Live. It's the new one and they they do it live on tv and they have all these comer like um uh they're advertising like these movies and old navy and stuff in between the takes but <clears throat> excuse me we're sitting there watching it and i felt really really weird like it was weird but there's some things that got brought to my attention as i was watching this now i don't know if you're uh, i'm over in California so I don't know if you're might have just watched this or already watched it but um, I can tell you that the Illuminati is alive and well um, in this Christmas Story Live the new one and uh, so what I noticed was during the lamp um, singing number when the dad was on the stage and he had all the women dancing around in lamp costumes. Um, the stage that he was standing on is like an eye. And they ha it's like a half dome. You know how they put the stage like for the Scientology, the yearly Scientology, or um, like the Oscars one time had an all-seeing eye. And um, so that's what it looks like. And the eyelashes were all legs. It was really weird. And I thought, am I just imagining this? And then the next scene uh, was fixing the tire. Okay, I wrote this down, you guys. So as now we know in the original story, they get a flat tire and Ralphie comes out. And, um, or is it Ralphie? I don't know. But the little boy is sitting there with his dad. And in this one, I'm sitting there watching it. And I look on the fender, right, where they're fixing the tire. And it's dusty and fingered in the dust on that fender right there is 666. Now the first six, they kind of wiped it away. But if you're not paying attention, you could miss it. But someone that's like discerning, I mean, I, I it was plain as day, 666. And I thought, okay. <laughs> um, and then... There's another scene after that where he's trying to get, the little boy's trying to get his um, uh, BB gun or in the original story, he blamed, he, the, he's cussed, right? When they were changing the tire and he said, the mom says, where'd you hear that word? And he lied and said it was from his friend Schwartz. Well, they took this a step farther in this one and Schwartz is now they're saying he's the little Jewish boy. So the next number is the... Um, the boy goes over to his friend Short's house to apologize, and his mother brings out a whole, does a whole Jewish number, and she's dancing around with these other Jews from the neighborhood that all came in her house, and they, they're singing to the boy, saying, this is your moment for a miracle, and um, the mom starts playing a violin by the stairs. <clears throat> now, these are like big time Hollywood actors, you guys. And they're two of them are comedians, the mom and this other girl, Schwartz's mom, the other lady. And I look past the Jewish people on the wall and I see a picture of a pyramid inside of a circle, kind of like this. And I looked and I told my husband, I'm like, oh my goodness, that is a pyramid inside of a circle. And it had like weird leaves on the side of it, but it was pretty cut and dry. You could tell that was a pyramid inside of a circle. <clears throat> and it just goes on and on, you guys. I, I, I'm telling you, we are in the last moments and then that Taco Bell, Illuminati Taco Bell commercial, they're making fun of it, but now they're putting it in and, and they're talk. okay, in the number, I guess you guys will have to go and watch it because in this Jewish number, she's talking about the lamp oil, the mom's singing about 
the lamp oil's burning for eight days and um, Jesus was a Jew and just singing about all the stuff and they have the whole, uh, I don't know. It was, it was so weird, you guys, but Illuminati live and well, and it keeps getting more prominent and more prominent and more prominent every day. And Hollywood's trying to make a comeback with all this because in between the live, um, show, they have all these commercials where they're dancing and, all these Hollywood actors trying to act like they're on Broadway or something, doing commercials. It's just really weird, but a lot of symbolism going on. And uh, we are just, we are at the end, you guys. And recently, um, my I've been dreaming about Putin and about Russia and um, just different things. That I can't tell you an actual plot to the dream or, um, but it's, something's about to happen. Something is about to happen over there. And, uh, we just, we just need to keep watching, staying in prayer and, uh, don't go to sleep. And all right, you guys, I love you. And I'm praying for us all. And I hope you're having a good night or a good day, wherever you are at.